core experiences we have as human beings is the journey of coming to the wilderness, coming to the woods, and taking refuge. Vallecitos itself is a magnificent refuge and ranch in the wilderness uh, of northern New Mexico, surrounded by 300,000 acres of Carson National Forest. We're more than 11 miles in on dirt road. Uh, we're 30 miles from the nearest uh, small town. And this is unique. This offers a unique setting to come together and meet and do the kind of trainings and retreats that we offer to step out of the fast lane of society, to disconnect, unplug, no cell phones, no computers. This is a core uh, experience for us as human beings, which we have lost. Vallecitos is unique in being able to offer that experience again. I've spent my adult professional life as a trial lawyer uh, representing national, regional, and grassroots environmental organizations. These mountains uh, I have been coming to for the last 35 years. It is for me my own personal place of groundedness, of centeredness in my life. Uh, and I am inspired uh, to offer it and share it in that way with other people. You have ponds and river, flowing water, beautiful forests. It's absolutely unique. It's like being in a national park and having a retreat experience at the same time. On the land is a lodge that was built in 1928, uh, and it was patterned after the lodge at Yellowstone National Park and Grand Canyon. National Park, a magnificent structure, a huge stone fireplaces at each end of the, the lodge, a cathedral a ceiling where the main hall is, a wonderful uh, upstairs a meeting room and library. In addition, we have built over 20 uh, what we call casitas or little cabins, all of which are passive solar heated and are set in the woods behind the lodge and offer very comfortable, but very simple accommodations. Our programs and trainings are specifically designed and tailored uh, to the community or the organization that's coming to Vallecitos. For example, today here on the ranch, we're in the middle of a five-day retreat for three organizations from the Austin community and each of them, before the retreat, identified a critical problem or challenge facing them, and one that they are working on in the course of the retreat. So at the end, they're gonna have a very tangible result that they can actually take home and implement. We employ a number of very simple uh, practices that are based in uh, wisdom traditions of the world. Uh, the first one is uh, mindfulness meditation a technique of quieting and calming the mind in order that we can see things more clearly for what they are. The second component we use is uh, periods of silence. Uh, in our normal, typical retreat, we will uh, have silence until uh, 10 a.m. every morning. The third one that we use is community building. Each of the guests are asked to share in the daily chores of maintaining the ranch, whether it's washing dishes or sweeping the floors. That is a traditional way of developing community. And then finally we go to the woods and we uh, take hikes and walks as a technique of deepening our connection to the earth and to nature and deepening the whole experience here of being in the woods. It's really creating a container for the work. It's creating a space, a context of trust and introspection and mindfulness about what it is that we're here to do. And that doesn't mean that the work is any less uh, diligent or outcome oriented. It just means that it's coming more naturally to us. The trip has been wonderful. The spot is beautiful. 
Um, it's enabled us to have time to be thoughtful and to deal with some questions that we probably would not have uninterrupted time for at the office. And I think it's going to make all the difference in our future that we've had this experience. I believe that coming here to a place like Paisitos is one of the greatest rewards that I could offer to my team. Some time away from the hustle and bustle of the office, some genuine personal introspection time, a beautiful environment like this one, and some really good food. I feel confident in recommending this location to other groups. It really is taking them out of the world that they live in and giving them, uh, I think, a bigger sense of themselves, of what they can accomplish as a team and also what they can do as individuals. They're realizing that all the additions of modern life, all the things that we've come to depend on, are not really the essentials. The essentials are right here and right here. And Viacitos draws those things out.